mm, really. And how have you found your time with the unit so far? I mean, you've had only one proper full season, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. It's no, it's been very enjoyable. To be fair, it's uh, you know I went through a period of probably after Blackburn that you know I fell out of love with the game a little bit. Thought that I might have still had a chance to to maybe creep back up a few a few leagues or whatnot. Ended up getting as far as I got was the Conference North. Um, enjoyed that, but again, no, it's I think I think whenever you find probably should just translate to any walk of life. Just do something that you actually enjoy doing. Don't worry about anything to do with money or anything around it. Just just success and happiness. Just go for that. And and definitely one of the reasons why I actually went to, to Linus was like my best mate who plays there at the time, Michael Simpson. So I think I just got there and just fell in love with, with football back again, really. Just, you know, I'd turn up on a Saturday, work hard for the lads, get stuck in and, you know, at the be all and end all. I, I enjoy being around the place and actually enjoy playing football there and I think that's the main thing you have to look in and take through any walk of life do anything that you enjoy and just try and do it as much as you can really yep I mean wise words man that's that's a great story right there <laughs> <laughs> and obviously you. like during this type of season like, the, like we've had this year you know we've had so many stop starts how does that affect the players how does that influence the players uh, I think it'll just be more born out frustration really because we're used to in long league and that you used to play in what for what feels like all the way up to Christmas in this period, you feel like you're playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So that the year kind of disappears when you when you're playing non-league football. It just you 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 turn up a preseason in the summer and then all of a sudden you're playing in the summer and it's the end of the season. It just it goes so quick. But I think with the amount of breaks that we've had so far this season, it's actually I know it's obviously dragged the league out in terms of fixtures and dates that it might be continuing to, but it's definitely made every single like week drag a little bit longer because you never know when you're going to be playing your last game or if you're ever going to be playing another game in this year or for the season or whatnot. So I think it's just been born frustration for for me personally and and the, and maybe a few of the other lads that we're just so used to being in that environment three days a week and just just rolling through it type thing to have it constantly start start is just a bit it's a little bit annoying and that but there's obviously bigger things going on in the world so you know we're, we're fortunate enough to to actually get out there and kick a ball about so we can't complain and, and hopefully it comes back around soon where we can we can be back at the mill bank and, and having a laugh and kicking a fussy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, throughout all the troubles, obviously, I think it's fair to say that the Linus have had an actual good season. But obviously yeah. now you've lost, you know, Alex Downs, Sean Omani, Tom McCready, James Shaw. What kind of impact does that make on the team when you've lost so many key players? Um, hopefully, in Shorty's term, I know that Hopefully he'll be coming back as soon as the if our league kicks off again, you know I think Shorty will be straight back and if he doesn't I'll be driving down to Coventry to get him myself to be fair because because we car school together so if he leaves me just on my own for for the rest of the season you know I'll be having words with Shorty so I reckon Shorty will be back but you know the likes of Tom Alex and and Sean um, they were they were big influencers and, you know they were top players and and to come into a team and only be in that team for a reduced amount of time and still have the impact that they have and just get straight stuck in on the field and off the field and you know the, the three great lads and four when you include Shorty so you know they, they actually added a lot off the pitch too to be fair so they are going to be big misses but again though it's, it's like non-league there's always a chance for someone else to then step up and, and get stuck in and show what they're about really. And obviously with you being club captain do you feel like any added pressure because of everything that's going on right now, you know, trying to guide your, your players, to, trying to be there for support. Do you feel any added, added pressure? Uh, not, so, not so much added pressure. I think I think the, the manager takes a lot of pressure off the, off the players, to be fair. The manager's always been, he's always one of the cheapest and that. He's always, any situation that's like popped up during lockdown and that, even to the point when we played those two friendlies, uh, was it just after the second lockdown? Uh, yeah. Possibly like Averton and... and uh, 1874 yeah. you know even just like little bits like that actually getting a couple of games in for the lads that that's massive do you know what I mean it's still there's a little bit of money for the lads to still earn but again no it's just being in that mental side of it so actually being in the environment seeing all the boys again having a laugh and getting together you know so the manager takes a lot of pressure off everyone and he certainly takes a lot of pressure off me you know he, he takes the pressure all on himself really to be honest and he and I, and I think he he's found like that responsibility he has to do that because obviously he's coached quite a few of the lads that have been there before, so he might be a bit of a, a you know a bit of a father figure to maybe someone. I know he's I know he's the same age as me and that, but he doesn't carry himself that way. He's a lot 
he's a lot older in age than what it's actually on his birth certificate. Do you know what I mean? And he, he definitely looks that way too. He looks about 45. <laughs> but um, but no, he, he's took a lot of the pressure off, off certainly me and I know a few of the other lads. And But I think we are that close as a group that if anyone needs needs anything really, that, you know, there's always someone on the other end of the phone that will that will speak to them and just and meet them for a coffee if you're allowed to or whatnot. But yeah, but I think that's just the, the Runcorn Linux environment in general. You know, the previous teams that I played in, the lads have always been close and maybe it's just something in that dressing room and changes that everyone's always been close and I think anyone who's actually played at Runcorn will always stay close to people who played played their previous years and whatnot so it's just overall just a, a generally good environment where there isn't much pressure the only pressure we put on is put on ourselves and on the pitch and want to perform well for each other really. And the last thing I want to ask you about is about a guy that has performed really well and he's earned himself the Ron Corlinas player of 2020, Louis Hayes. Thoughts on that? Unbelievable player. I've, I honestly think Louis's got a, a very good chance of actually climbing up the leads and I think it'd be a real shame that the, if he, he ne- if he never gets the chance of climbing up the leads, it leagues, to be fair. I think he's just, he's one of those players, he's never the loudest in the change room, he's never going to be the loudest on the pitch, but... I think I think you'll notice a massive difference in the team when when Lewis actually doesn't play because he's just he's just there he's just constantly there he he cleans up my mistakes he cleans up everyone's mistakes around them and yet he just never makes a mistake in a game hardly ever I can't even think of one off the top of my head now he's just he's just a solid never never mind seven out of ten he's like an eight and nine out of ten every single week so he he, he thoroughly deserves that little accolade to be fair and I think he I think he's got a real chance of are pushing on in the game and and I, and I hope we all actually help him get to that point but I think I I think we'll see him in leagues above to be fair with Louis yeah I mean he's been brilliant for everyone to watch yeah. I think Final we'll leave team. it there I think we'll leave it there thank you very much for joining me and uh, getting up your time for this yeah no problem thanks a lot catch you soon